guys, Jen here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance or Supply. I'm making a slab mold soap today. A big mo a big bunch of soap. It is um about 16 pounds. I'm just getting my gloves on. And I'm doing forever red. Yeah. Uh, I love you. Love you too. We're gonna sit. Um, here's my cream and my fragrance and my colors and my big thing of oils. Now, um, I know you guys have a hard time seeing down in here. but I'll make this as best as I can. It's uh, darker colored or not clear. Go play. What? Yeah, yo. Okay, sorry. My oils are not clear because I have uh, my oats and my clay and my goat milk in here. which they've probably settled some to the bottom because this is nice and room temperature. But we'll give it a stick blend. I'm going to stick blend my cream in first before I add my lye. When I do these big batches, I like to get all of my additives stick blended in before I start adding my lye just because I, I just do. And I'm out of paper towels. I have to pause you guys and go get paper towels. Okay, but I'm doing Forever Red uh, in the slab because for one, it's such a popular scent and like the tester soap that I made, it sold out, uh, somebody ordered it like before it was even ready. So I couldn't even list it for sale because somebody's like I want that so um, and then also I'm going to start stocking some fragrances back soaps mini soaps to give us freebies um, and with be scented orders so we're working on that this is going to be one of the soaps that I do as a freebie It's 181 ounces of oils. If anybody's wondering. And with my lye solution. Great big amount of lye. Nice and slow. It's a little bit warmer than my oils, which is fine. Because my oils are pretty cool. This is a huge batch of soap. Right into the sink. I'm going to do this red, pale pink, purple, and white. Red and pink, you know, because it's called Forever Red.
Okay. Now this one doesn't accelerate um, per se, but it is a faster mover. It's not like, you know, it has no acceleration at all. So I'm going to divide it off and do my fragrance or add my colors. And then I will add the fragrance before I'm ready to pour. Now this one's dirty. It looks dirty because I pre-mixed my titanium dioxide in here and then, you know, I pour it in my container. So it's got a little bit of titanium dioxide in there. to do our titanium dioxide first. Hopefully that should be good. to be white, but I want a creamy color. Alright, I think that looks good. Just leave my stick blender in there for the time being. So we're going to start out with our light pink, because I'm probably going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to it. And I pre-measured. This is using my oils from my batch and I pre-measured how much I, sh I should have I'm pretty sure I made just enough to get the color I want and I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this one because I already know I want a pale color blender in there. Move on to our next color which will be our red. Like I said I should have pre-mixed. I have, think I have the right amount mixed up. my stick blender off to do my purple. Let's move these two back there. This purple is a mixture between our pretty purple and our um, purple haze. Lander back in here. Purple I did just for a, a contrast. Right. So 
those turned out good. Now we're going to add our fragrance and I'm probably going to hand stir it in. for the big one. This smells really, really good. Like really, really good. Shake it out. Don't want to waste any. Fragrance is one of our most expensive parts of our soaping. So I'm going to have to give these all a little stick blend. It just riced just a hair on me. No big deal. I can fix it. Alright, let's get my spatulas out of the way. Scoot those back. This is a pretty pink. What I was going for. This one a stir before I stick blend it. Bring this closer.
Save that for the top. I love doing these big batches. They are so much fun. down down here on the floor and I have a hanger tool that Eric made me um, that this one it's, it's gonna be just a tiny bit short because it wasn't made for this mold but I want to use it See how that does. We'll give it a smack down. on the other colors. something on my soap. Okay. Don't know what that was. But it's not there now. This smells really good. The last 
last time I did this soap, I did um, a gradient. But I didn't want to do that this time. I'm going to give this another smack down to level the top out. Sorry, lots of noise. Okay, see you okay? Just texture in the top some. Get us a bit of glitter. This is a little bit of red glitter. All right. And I think that's it. This is a remake of my Forever Red soap. If you guys are interested in this, it will be available soon. Um, probably not till see, my April listing. Um, so thank you all for watching and I'll bring you back for the cutting. Hi guys, I'm back Hello. and Hello. I'm getting ready to cut or split the log of soap I made yesterday. Um, a lot of you have seen my splitter that my hubby made and I just wanted to cut it in the video for those that are new and maybe haven't seen me use it. Um, my husband, <coughs> Eric, made it for me. Hey, hush it. <laughs> um, I love it. Um, your husband's or significance others can make you one. All it is is he made the base and it's on um, drawers, like cabinet drawers. So, yeah. Um... He's actually going to revamp it a little bit 
because once I push the soap through, um, it doesn't cut all the way. I have to push it the rest of the way. So, anyways, uh, here's my soap. This cuts three logs, and all I have to do, I hold on to it so it doesn't fall. Oopsies. But all I have to do is kind of push my soap through, and then I just push it the rest of the way with my hand. I got a new wire so he could do what he needs to do to redo my wire. He doesn't like where it's at. Alright, let's put that down. Let's put this one in. Give it a shove. Which my wire's not really, really tight. Um, my string. It's not as tight as I would make it for um, my cutter, my regular loaf cutter. And my mold that he made. Um, I get a little strip on the top that I can use for samples. Either samples or um, mini bars is what I made. There's that. There's my last log. And then I take it, and you, you guys can see, I sit it long ways like this, and I just run it through to get bars. Um, this is a one inch bar, so I mean you could sell it, but I just, I cut my bars bigger than that. I just make mini soaps. Alright, let me loosen my wire. I always loosen it when I'm done. It helps to preserve the wire to not have constant tension on it all the time. Ugh, this thing's heavy too. All right, now I'm going to pause you guys, clean up a little bit, and get my cutter over here. Okay, so we're going to get you guys zoomed in already to cut these loaves. my wire. Okay. I'm going to cut these, the end piece, into mini bars. And that's how I do that. I just cut them in half. And the soap smells so good. I've already had people messaging me and asking me uh, when this soap is going to be available. Because I've got it, you know, I posted the photos of it. And they're like, when will it be ready? Looks like I have a few glycerin rivers. I'm not worried with or it looks like I may have them won't know until I <laughs> yeah man yes hi yeah there's a little bit 
something on my soap. There it is. Alright. You guys see okay? Alright, I'm going to cut. I think I'm d I'll just cut. No, let's go ahead and cut a little sliver off. Beautiful red. Everybody knows I cut my bars at one inch and an eighth, and um, I've had lots of people ask me because I'm starting to. Um, this batch of soap is going to be for not the whole thing. I'll keep some of the bars, um, but it's going to be for uh, be scented to hand out to send out, you know, in orders. And that's our way of letting you smell a scent. And I'm not done. Okay. I'm going to do this one with the tablet away. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, look at that one. But it allows people to try my soaps and you can smell the scent. And um I have lots of people ask me how <coughs> I cut the soaps that they had gotten in for the mini bars. <coughs> so I shall show you. <coughs> Hi. Ha! <coughs> oh, so pretty. Hey, boys, stop. You're hitting the counter. Oh, I'm loving it. <clears throat> and this way, um, it'll show you guys how I get people thought it was, um, like a mold. I won't cut all of these on video, but I'll show you. Oh, gorgeous. He went to the bathroom, Noah. But I'll show you how I do the mini bars. This soap started to get a little bit of soda ash <clears throat> on top, but I think I caught it in time. The mini bars <clears throat> is it's just a normal bar of my soap that I cut and we cut it in half and I cut it in half and I have four mini bars and that is how I do my mini bars 
And that's what we've been sending out in orders as freebies. I just go through, I don't plain them because you know, then it would make them really skinny. So I just go through and I bevel the edges. But we'll cut a couple of bars off of this one. And call it done. same pretty much. <laughs> Alright guys, I thank you for watching and we shall catch you on the next video.